Welcome back guys, I'm Mark Wong and today we are in the tech room, your trusty companion for all things tech. Whether you're a tech enthusiast looking for the latest innovations or a casual user seeking honest reviews, you've come to the right place. Join us as we dive deep into the realm of gadgets, gaming consoles, PCs, and more. In this video, two brands will be facing off. We'll be taking a look at which offers better gaming performance, Intel or AMD Ryzen. In the world of CPUs, there are only two manufacturers that dominate the market, Intel and AMD. And since we're talking about gaming performance, we'll be taking a look at how one bests the other at 1080p, 1440p, and 4K gaming. On top of that, we will also be comparing their prices so that you'll be able to determine which one offers the best value for money. Do note that the price tag may vary, and we can only show you the prices at the time of making this video, so be sure to check out the updated links in the description. To help you further, there are timestamps to all the products featured. So let's get started. For our first matchup, we have our budget pick, the AMD Ryzen 5 7600X going against the Intel 5 13600K. Priced at $199.98, the Ryzen 5 7600X is a six core and 12 thread processor. The base clock speed of the Ryzen 5 7600X is 4.7 gigahertz, which can be boosted up to 5.3 gigahertz under heavy workloads, making it ideal for intensive applications. On the other hand, we have the Intel 5 13600K priced at $259.96. It boasts a total of 14 cores, which are divided into six performance cores and eight efficient cores. The base clock speed of the performance cores is 3.5 gigahertz, but they can turbo boost up to a maximum of 5.1 gigahertz for demanding tasks. Now let's take a look at gaming performance using an RTX 4090 GPU playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on high quality settings at 1080p. The 13600K was able to average 176 FPS while the 7600X was able to average 187 FPS. At 1440p on high settings, the 13600K was able to average 170 FPS while the 7600X was able to average 180 FPS. The results were also the same at 4K where the 13600K averaged 118 FPS while the 7600X averaged 122 FPS, making the 7600X the ideal option in Red Dead 2. Next, we'll be testing it on Horizon Zero Dawn. On ultimate quality settings, the 13600K was able to average 197 FPS while the 7600X managed an average of 252 FPS. Results on 1440p were almost similar with the 13600K averaging 194 FPS while the 7600X was able to average 251 FPS. When gaming on 4K, the results were more tight. The 13600K averaged 158 FPS while the 7600X averaged 162 FPS, making this another win for AMD. Let's test these CPUs on a competitive game with less demanding graphics such as Fortnite. On medium settings at 1080p, the 13600K was able to average 281 FPS while the 7600X was able to average 290 FPS. Running at 1440p, the 13600K averaged 273 FPS while the 7600X averaged 286 FPS. On 4K, the 13600K averaged 252 FPS while the 7600X averaged 255 FPS. When it comes to AAA shooters such as Halo Infinite, the 13600K did stand out when it came to 1080p and 1440p gaming. Running at 1080p on ultra quality, the 13600K was able to average 213 FPS while the 7600X averaged 183 FPS. On 1440p, the 13600K averaged 195 FPS while the 7600X averaged 182 FPS. However, when running at 4K, the 13600K averaged 136 FPS while the 7600X took the lead once more at an average of 139 FPS. Now let's take a look at the average scores. This is based on a 53 game average. At 1080p and 1440, the 7600X was able to perform 4% faster than the 13600K. However, when it came to 4K gaming, the 7600X was only 1% faster than the 13600K. When it comes to power consumption, the 13600K consumed 14% more power, making the 7600X the more efficient choice. With the facts laid out, it's worth noting that 
the 7600X is more efficient for gaming compared to its Intel counterpart. Not only that, but the 7600X also offers lower power consumption while being $60 cheaper at the time of making this video. For our second matchup, we have our high-end pick, the Intel i9-13900K versus the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D. The AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D is priced at $339.99. This CPU is a high-performance processor featuring eight cores and 16 threads. It also operates at a base clock speed of 4.2 gigahertz, which can be boosted up to 5.0 gigahertz under demanding conditions. On the Intel side, we have the i9-13900K priced at $461.14. This is a flagship processor designed for extreme performance catering to high-end gaming and professional workloads. It features a hybrid architecture with a total of 24 cores, consisting of eight performance cores and 16 efficient cores while supporting 32 threads. The base clock speed of performance cores is 3.0 gigahertz, which can turbo boost up to an impressive 5.8 gigahertz for peak performance under heavy workloads. All right, let's take a look at the gaming performance using the same RTX 4090 GPU playing Horizon Zero Dawn at 1080p settings on ultimate quality, the 7800X3D averaged 272 FPS, while the 13900K averaged 247 FPS. At 1440p, the 7800X3D averaged 258 FPS, while the 13900K averaged 237 FPS. When gaming on 4K, the 7800X3D was able to average 162 FPS, while the 13900K delivered almost similar performance at 160 FPS. Now let's try Hogwarts Legacy with ray tracing on. At 1080p on ultra quality, the 7800X3D averaged 78 FPS, while the 13900K averaged 74 FPS. At 1440p, the 7800X3D was able to average 76 FPS, while the 13900K averaged 73 FPS. Gaming on 4K, however, both CPUs were able to average 63 FPS. Let's try these two CPUs on another demanding game, such as The Last of Us Part 1. Since this is a very GPU-intensive game, both CPUs have identical results across all resolutions at ultra settings. At 1080p, both CPUs averaged 176 FPS. At 1440p, again, they had identical scores of 143 FPS. The same can be said at 4K, where they both averaged 86 FPS. Trying the CPUs out on Cyberpunk 2077, the 13900K delivered better results overall at high quality settings. At 1080p, the 7800X3D averaged 203 FPS, while the 13900K averaged 211 FPS. At 1440p, the 7800X3D averaged 162 FPS, while the 13900K averaged 164 FPS. However, when we ran it at 4K, the results round up the same with both CPUs averaging 86 FPS. Now let's try these CPUs on a more competitive game such as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. At 1080p on ultra settings, the 7800X3D averaged 261 FPS, just a bit higher than the 13900K score of 256 FPS. At 1440p, the scores were even closer with the 7800X3D averaging 202 FPS, while the 13900K averaged 201 FPS. So this is the same at 4K where the 7800X3D averaged 134 FPS, while the 13900K averaged 133 FPS. All right, let's take a look at the average FPS scores over 23 games. At 1080p, the 7800X3D was just 5% faster than the 13900K on average. At 1440p, the 7800X3D was just 4% faster than the 13900K at 1080p. Finally, on 4K, both CPUs performed basically the same, with the 7800X3D being less than 1% faster than the 13900K. Now, when it comes to power consumption, the 7800X3D is the more efficient pick because the 13900K used a whopping 106 watts more on average. While the gaming performance difference isn't huge by any means, the 7800X3D was still more efficient than the 13900K and it absolutely dominated Intel when it came to power consumption. On top of that, the 7800X3D is around $121 cheaper than its Intel counterpart at the time of making this video. All that being said, the 7800X3D is obviously the better choice when it comes to gaming. 
Before we end, we do want to note that while AMD did perform better than Intel when it came to gaming, this isn't the case when it comes to running other programs such as content creation software. Intel, with its larger number of cores, allows it to excel at content creation, making it the ideal choice for others. So even if we did find that AMD performed better when it comes to FPS, you might wanna consider Intel when doing professional content creation or creative work. However, one downside is that Intel is the more expensive option. So this is something you'll definitely have to consider when choosing between the two. And there you have it, folks, the Intel versus AMD Gaming Showdown. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button. If you have a question or a product you want us to review, be sure to drop your recommendations in the comments below. Until next time, this is Mark signing off, reminding you to stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our tech rooms great.